Pre-Compose is such a helpful tool while editing a video, but it's not easy to explain this topic. Still, I will try my best to make this as easy as possible to understand. I have used some simple image examples, but you can use these on videos and your edits. Even after watching this video you still have anything you find hard to understand, feel free to comment it down below. I will reply your question and will explain you. Here we get two options when we pre-compose a layer. First says, leave all attributes in your composition. Which means all the effects, keyframes, and anything else you made on the video will remain there. But still the layer will be pre-composed. I will explain this with example and video don't worry. The second option we get here is. Move all attributes into new composition. Which means all the effects and keyframes on the layer will be moved with pre-composed layer. There are some more option one says you can adjust the length of the pre-composition like the pre-composition will be same as the size of the video you pre-composed. Second says open new composition, but we can actually just double click on layer to open new comp so there is no need to select this option. Here I have four PNGs, it could be anything, video or image. I want them to move to same direction, but it will take so much time to change values of each layer one by one. So I can select all the layer and pre-compose them. Now I have all the layers in one layer and having same properties. I can move just one layer, but it will move other images too as they all are in single layer. I can even scale them or anything I will do will impact all layers that I pre-composed. Here I am making an edit and I am using a scene from a movie. I want this part to be in my edit. But even when I trim the layer, it is still part of the whole video. So to fix this, I can basically pre-compose this part. And now it's a separate layer having no connection with the whole movie layer. I cannot extend it more than its size cause it has no properties or data from previous video I was using. This is really helpful when you use effects like Twixter, cause even if you trim the layer, Twixter use whole video and use frames from other parts that we don't need. We can double click on pre-composed layer to go inside of it, and we can change the part of the video anytime, and there will be no need do anything again, as here the Twixter is already there and I just replaced file and pre-composed layer. You can make changes to the pre-composed layer but it won't affect anything inside pre-composition. Here I am making a mask. But if I go inside the pre-composed layer, the layer is still same. Have no effect on it. Let's apply tint on pre-composition and see what happened. My pre-composed layer looks red, but the main video is still normal as it was before. It means we can apply anything on pre-composition won't change anything on main video. But if I make any change inside pre-comp it will affect the outside layer. Let me remove tint here. As you can see, the square I made inside is visible on main composition. And if I remove it, it will be gone from main comp too. So you are working with keyframes, for example making in velocity edit, or even animating some images for your edits, and in between you realize you used wrong image. So will you do everything again? The answer is no. You can actually pre-compose the animated layer and select this option, which will keep all your keyframes on main composition, and it will create a composition which include only your image or video layer. So you can go inside that layer and can simply change the image. I will just add a clock image instead of this, and when I go to main composition, the image will be changed but still animated. It's not important you can only replace one image, anything you can in that pre-compose will be visible on main. This is very handy when you track text or images and you just want to replace them without changing the keyframes again. You can actually organize your edit by pre-composition. Here I have lots of layer, 
and it's so hard to work with all of them at same time, so I will select all layers and will pre-compose them, which will make all layers a single layer, giving me more space to add other layers. I hope you understood some basics of pre-composition and that was it for this tutorial. I would be glad if you check my Instagram and TikTok account once. Thank you so much for watching.